Ciao ragazzi, siamo qui in compagnia del direttore di Fitbit per una breve intervista e adesso passeremo subito con le nostre tre domande. Spiegheremo brevemente quale sarà il futuro di Fitbit, e anche quale sarà la missione quindi per i prossimi anni e perché è nata la collaborazione con Amazon per quanto riguarda lo smartwatch Versa 2 eh, che abbiamo visto supporterà comunque i comandi vocali per eh, diciamo, interagire con il dispositivo anche attraverso la voce e perché appunto è nata questa collaborazione. Quindi passiamo subito con le domande anche perché abbiamo pochissimo tempo a nostra disposizione. Hi, this is, I'm, my name is Dennis, I work uh, at Fitbit on our product marketing team. I'm uh, really excited to, to be Be here to tell you about a little bit more about Fitbit and our new Versa 2 and uh, to our uh, large and loyal community out there we really appreciate your support. How um, did the collaboration with Amazon ca came and why did you choose uh, Amazon and not another partner? Why did you think that Amazon uh, was the right partner and not for example Google uh, referring to Versa 2 sm smartwatch? Yeah, maybe I'll take a step back real quick and um, for people who haven't heard about Versa 2 yet, give you a little bit of an overview on it. So Versa 2 is our new uh, health and fitness smartwatch. It's the next evolution of the original Versa, which we launched uh, about a year ago. Um, it is, uh, as you said, it, we, we are doing a collaboration with Amazon. Uh, one of the headlines is we have Amazon Alexa built into the device. Um, we also have a new Spotify app. Um, it is uh, the, the design of the product itself mm -hmm. is uh, even more evolved and premium than the original Versa. It has a faster processor, a great AMOLED display that gives you kind of a, a crisper uh, image uh, right on the device. And then we've also launched a number of new sleep features mm -hmm. uh, that will help uh, you uh, as a Versa user uh, sleep even better. Yeah. And so. Uh, we're really excited about the, uh, all the news that we have on Versa 2 specifically. We've actually also enhanced the battery life. So it's now five days instead of four days, mm -hmm. which was on the original Versa. Um, I think to your question about, uh, about Alexa, yeah. it is something that, you know, when we looked at the, the landscape of uh, voice assistance mm -hmm. that uh, people are, are using, uh, we know that Amazon Alexa is hugely popular around the world. And uh, so they were, they were an obvious partner for us. Uh, we are also uh, you know, working with potentially other partners to bring uh, to the platform. So it is not something that we are saying exclusively uh, that we will be you know, uh, using Amazon Alexa um, on this device. But uh, for, you know, for now, it is, uh, we are, we're really excited about uh, having uh, Alexa as a partner. What are the features that will be targeted in the futures, like uh, design or the functionalities of uh, your Fitbit? Yeah, I, I think in the future we will uh, continue to be focused on um, the areas that we have been focused on and we've done really well in. So uh, the design of our products uh, have always been something that we've gotten great feedback from our community on. Um, that you know, it, we, we know that people wear uh, will wear a Versa 2, for example, because it is a great looking yes. lifestyle smartwatch. Um, we will obviously continue to be focused in health and fitness mm -hmm. um, and continuing to focus on bringing new experiences uh, to our community that help them you know, be more active, to help them sleep better, um, to help them eat better. Um, and so, you know, I think you know, really focusing on design and health and fitness. Uh, cross-platform compatibility, um, which, is, which is another big area for us, making sure that all of our users, regardless of whether they are iOS users or Android users, um, can be on the same platform and engage with each other um, and you know, continuing to push on, on, on battery life so that you have uh, kind of devices that you will uh, be able to wear uh, all the time, day in and day out. Um, and so we're continuing to kind of push on those areas and, and uh, yeah, I think much more to come. Last question, and it's maybe pretty similar to this one. Um, what is the future of Fitbit? And so what will be your mission for the next years? 
Fitbit. The future of Fitbit, I think, is really rooted in uh, the mission of which we founded this company. For over a decade now, the, the, the mission of Fitbit is to make everyone in the world healthier. And so everything that we're going to be doing, are doing now and will be doing in the future, uh, will be really focused on bringing that mission to life. Um, and, and that's what we're all about. And so. Uh, you know, between the devices that we make, like Versa 2, which we've talked about, um, but also, you know, we've recently uh, announced the launch of a new uh, premium membership service uh, for our community, which will give people an either, even deeper understanding and more personalized experience when they're using Fitbit, from uh, uh, over 3,000 workouts to uh, personalized programs that help you uh, do things like if you're just trying to get a little bit more active or just trying to sleep better, uh, sleep better a little bit or uh, eat a little bit better, giving you kind of guidance on how to do that. That's personalized to you based on the data that we're uh, collecting with you uh, from the device that you're wearing. Um, and so you know, I think for us kind of looking forward, it is about helping our users um, be their their, their healthiest selves and uh, everything that we'll be doing will, will be focused on that. Okay, perfect. Ragazzi, la nostra intervista si conclude qui, molto breve, ma abbiamo tantissime informazioni che uh, andremo a tradurvi a breve, quindi ci sposteremo un attimo all'esterno. Ringraziamo Denis, il uh, direttore appunto del uh, direttore marketing di Fitbit e um, ci vediamo um, tra pochissimo. Allora ragazzi, molto brevemente, qual è stato il succo di questo discorso? La prima domanda abbiamo chiesto a Denis um, perché avessero scelto Amazon come partner perché abbiamo visto che uh, il Versa 2 comunque supporta comandi vocali con Amazon e Alexa giustamente e um, uh, Dennis ci ha detto che hanno scelto Amazon perché analizzando il mercato hanno notato che Amazon uh, Alexa è tra gli assistenti vocali uh, più utilizzati al giorno d'oggi quindi appunto anche su tutti i dispositivi di, di Amazon e um, per questo motivo hanno deciso di puntare uh, su Amazon Alexa e non su altri partner però ci hanno detto che stanno anche collaborando con uh, altri Altre aziende, non ci hanno detto quali, però hanno detto che hanno ricevuto molte richieste e che molto probabilmente in futuro vedremo appunto altri prodotti con all'interno um, altri o altri assistenti o comunque caratteristiche e funzionalità. Allora, poi in, uh, abbiamo chiesto uh, quali mh, saranno le caratteristiche sulle quali uh, Fitbit punterà in futuro. Ci hanno detto che comunque uh, continueranno appunto a puntare molto sulle funzionalità del, dei nuovi smartwatch soprattutto sulle funzionalità dedicate allo sport uh, quindi probabilmente si punterà molto di più sulla gamma comunque di prodotti dedicati al, allo sport e non su altri anche se a noi il Fitbit Versa 2 ha convinto molto è appunto uno smartwatch a tutti gli effetti e non uno sportwatch come possono essere appunto altri prodotti della serie infine abbiamo chiesto quale sarà il futuro di Fitbit ci hanno ribadito che si punterà molto sulle funzionalità, sulle piattaforme anche sulle collaborazioni con altre aziende che porteranno appunto alla creazione di nuovi contenuti che vedremo poi a bordo di, uh, di nuovi dispositivi e basta, questo è tutto, diciamo molto, riassunto molto brevemente quindi dall'IFA per oggi è tutto <ride> Lina lo studio <ride> no <ride> la devo rifare? no <ride> Thank you.